Hello, and welcome to one more tutorial on Win Automation. In this video, we will cover error handling. Imagine an automated task that runs once a customer completes a purchase on your online shop. By the time the purchase is registered, the process triggers, updates the purchase info on the database, and then emails the customer about the purchase. But consider that during a transaction, the database becomes unreachable. This would result in a failure of the process. From there, you would not know about this purchase, and the customer would wait for their products. But by using error handling, you are able to retry any failing actions, or perform activities which could correct the errors, and proceed with the execution to fulfill the transaction. In case the error is not resolved, you can set up being informed about the transaction and the nature of the error, as well as informing the customer that due to a technical glitch, you will need to review the transaction and get back to them as soon as possible. Win Automation's error handling capabilities consists of four layers. The first layer of error handling is within the action itself. Almost all actions will contain the Exception Handling tab, where you can set particular rules in case an event that is possible to appear arises. As an example, consider the Read Text from File action, and that the file used to read is called dailysales.txt and is located in a folder named after the current date, which is located on the desktop. This action has three exceptions. First, that the directory that hosts the file does not exist. Next, that the file is not found. And lastly, that Win Automation is not able to read from the file. Selecting one of these, you can set its rules. In the event that the folder is not found, you can set the process to run the folder missing function that would create such a folder. Alternatively, you can select all exceptions to work with the same behavior. Thus, in case any of the three exceptions happen, the same rules will apply. The options you have are to set a variable value, which, as you can see, allows you to use another variable's value, run another process from your database, run a function within the process, like in the example we just mentioned, or continue the execution, either by repeating the same action, going to the next, or going to a label. You can set a label at any point in the function. You can set one or more of these, and they will apply sequentially. On the upper section of the Exception Handling tab, you have the option to set the number of retries, as well as the interval between them, so that the process first retries the action before applying the set of rules. In case you have a set of actions that use the same error handling rules, you may create and make use of an exception block. This is the second layer of exception handling. To do so, first you need to set the exception block name. Next, you are able to set similar rules, setting a variable, running a function, and continuing the execution, repeating the action. Similar to the way that was described in the action layer of exception handling, as well as going to the beginning and end of the block. In case the first one does not solve the exception, the second will take effect to keep the process from failing. In the unfortunate event that the two first layers do not resolve the exception, the process will error out. However, there is a third layer of exception handling that can take effect and perform actions upon any occurring error. To use and configure the third layer, go to the Error Handling tab of a process's properties and click to override the default options. There you have the option to send an email with the error details, as well as attaching a screenshot at the time of the error. In order for the email to be sent, you need to have configured the settings in the respective Win Automation Console Options tab. Alternatively, you can set another process to execute that would remedy the situation, or set a text file in a specified path to be updated with the error. Lastly, you may update with this error event the Windows Event Log, as well as save the screenshot to the Win Automation Logs, showing the screen at the second that the error happened. Just remember that these settings will override the fourth layer of error handling. The fourth layer of exception handling rules are set under the console's Options tab, Error Handling. The settings are the same as those found in a process. However, they apply across all the processes in your Win Automation installation as long as they do not have their error handling enabled. Thank you for watching one more Win Automation tutorial.